I remember my very first encounter with a Redmi phone some years back, 2016 to be precise, and my research into this affordable line of the larger Xiaomi brand led me to a few discoveries. First off, that they are good phones and the Kenyan market has taken a liking to them. And also, they have quite a variety of phones, not just under the same lineup, but under the same model. At least that's what it has ended up growing into. For example, today I want to have a look at what the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro series that has a whooping eight models. Redmi Note 11 Pro, Pro 5G, Pro Plus 5G, 11 Pro 5G China version, 11T Pro, 11T Pro Plus, 11E Pro, and 11 Pro Plus 5G India version. Wait. Our curiosity led us to try see what differences exist in these phones, cause none is like the other, exactly. At least for three of them, not all eight of them were. <laughs> so with us today, we shall compare the Redmi Note 11 Pro, the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G, which is a China only version, and the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G. But it begs the question, why so many models of the same phone? Unlike other smartphone brands like Samsung, Infinix, Oppo, Realme, ETC, that have more balanced product offerings in all markets. I'd hate to think that the China version of the same phone gets superior performance and lower pricing, which also goes to ask, are Kenyans breaking bank for less value? Let's find out, shall we? From TechWiz, I'm Martin Gavinji with this very interesting comparison review. Let's take them and go. I'm sure you might be wondering, why include the China-only version for this comparison? Well, since the phone is manufactured there, we were curious to see what advantages or deductions they have in comparison to the global version that makes its way into our market. It's not uncommon for brands to do this segmented model release. Samsung has been doing it with their flagship series, the Galaxy S line, with the major difference being the Snapdragon versus the Exynos chipsets. On comparing the two, there were some differences that were noted, and it was evident that it was a clear cost-cutting measure with the Exynos chip having less power compared to the Snapdragon counterpart. The Snapdragon would make its way into the American market, and then the Exynos, mostly the African and Middle East Asia market. Also, we are doing this because we were lucky enough to get our hands on the China-only version which we had to send somebody to go and get from there to bring it here and is definitely not available in this market. And you shall see some of the reasons why. You'll also notice that there are some elements of the China version that have it stuck in the middle of the Redmi Note 11 Pro and the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G. Hence, we had to do a comparison of the three. Let's dive in. For the Redmi Note 11 Pro, in the box we get SIM ejector tool, documentation, and a protective case. The phone with a pre-applied screen protector, a 67 watt charger, Type-C cable. These are the same contents for the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G China version and the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G, only coming with a different charger the powerful 120 watt charging head. The Redmi Note 11 Pro lineup shares most features when it comes to design. They all have 6.67 Super AMOLED 1080p screens with 120Hz refresh rate and peak brightness of 1200 nits. All of them have Gorilla Glass 5 protection at the front and glass box. The 11 Pro and Pro Plus 5G have IP53 dust and splash resistance and have hybrid dual SIM card slots. The Note 11 Pro Plus display has HDR10 support and L1 Widevine certification, while the China and regular 11 Pro have L3 certification. Note 11 Pro has color options of graphite gray, that is stealth black, polar white or phantom white, and star blue. China version comes in forest green, Mysterious Black and Timeless Purple, and Milky Way Blue. Pro Plus 5G has Mysterious Black, Forest Green, and Timeless Purple. All three of them have stereo speakers at the bottom and the top with the China version and Pro Plus 5G fashioning speakers tuned by JBL. A nice touch. At the bottom of all three, we have the Type-C charging ports, primary microphone, and SIM card slot, on the left side are the volume rocker buttons and the side-mounted fingerprint readers embedded in the power button. There's also face unlock for biometrics. At the top, all of them have headphone jacks, secondary microphones, and IR blasters. 
After unboxing them on Android 11, all three got updated to Android 12 but with various versions of MIUI 13. China version has the highest version with MIUI 13.0.6 with Note 11 Pro running on 13.0.4 and the Note 11 Pro Plus 5G on MIUI 13.0.3 at the time of this recording. The China version and Pro Plus 5G have 6 and 8 GB RAM options and 128 and 256 storage options. Note 11 Pro has 6 and 8 GB RAM options and storage starting from 64, 128 and 256. All of them have UFS 2.2 storage and MIUI's dynamic RAM expansion feature. You add up to 3 GB of virtual RAM for 11 Pro and Pro Plus 5G with 2 GB for the China version. The Note 11 Pro China version isn't powered by Google's Android by default, so you'll have to download the Google Play Store from the Mi Store to access your regular Android apps. And this being a China version model, we understand. MediaTek chipsets power all the phones with the 11 Pro going with the Helio G96, while the Dimensity 925G for the China version and the Pro Plus 5G. Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro has a 5,000 mAh battery and the China version has a slightly bigger 5,160 mAh battery. Both support 67 watt fast charging. Note 11 Pro Plus 5G has a 4,500 mAh battery with support for 120 watt fast charging. 11 Pro and China version take 35 to 45 minutes to charge to 100% with the Pro Plus 5G taking 15 minutes from empty to 100%. On the cameras, all of them ship with a 108 megapixels main camera, 8 megapixels ultra wide, and 2 megapixels macro. The 11 Pro has an extra 2 megapixels depth sensor. Yes, it has an extra camera above the others, but it is held back with the video recording resolution 1080p 30fps and 60fps for the main, and 1080p 30fps for the selfie camera. For the Pro Plus 5G and China version, video recording is capped at 4K 30fps, 1080p at 120, 60 and 30fps, and 720p at 960fps. The front cameras for both is capped at 1080p, 60fps and 30fps and has more modes to play around with. This means that the China version and the Note 11 Pro Plus 5G have more versatile cameras for video. Apart from that, the phones take some pretty impressive photos, both during the day and at night. The front-facing cameras take acceptable selfies and portraits. The shots come out with nice color, details and sharpness, especially the 108 megapixels mode. The natural background separation is a nice addition to these pictures. In terms of pricing, the Note 11 Pro starts at 31,000 for the 6GB 128GB version and 35,000 for the 8GB 128GB version. The Note 11 Pro 5G China version goes for 28,000 for the base model and can go all the way up to 31 or 33,000. But you'll have to import it first as it's not really available in the country. That means you might have shipping costs etc. And the Note 11 Pro Plus 5G goes for 50,000 Kenya shillings on the higher spec 8GB to 56GB version. So, in conclusion, what's our take home and why do this comparison in the first place? For a start, all three Redmi smartphones bring a ton of features to the table. Beautiful designs, amazing screens, loud stereo speakers, incredible performance and cameras. Secondly, it is after checking out the three phones that you'll notice that the China version has the best of both in terms of specs and value. A better processor and high video recording quality, a more updated MIUI 13 version, a relatively bigger battery, and JBL tuned stereo speakers. It is of course region locked to China alone, and the regular Note 11 Pro global version plays second fiddle in comparison. Sad to say our market might have been offered a device with lesser performance at a higher price and the one with performance to match it, given at an even higher price. You'll have to cough up more cash to get the Note 11 Pro Plus 5G, which shares most of these sweet features with the China version and is available for the global market. Overall, the Note 11 phone that has the best value is the China version. Interesting that it was released in October of 2021, 
at the same time as the Pro Plus 5G, with specs reduced from it and coming to the global market as the Redmi Note 11 Pro global version, which was released at the beginning of this year. Hmm. We only wish the same features could have trickled down to the more affordable Note 11 Pro meant for the global market, or at least Xiaomi could release this exact model with these exact features for the global market too. But we don't always get to what we wish for, do we? Hmm. And oh yeah, there is a Note 11 Pro 5G global version that ideally should be the global 5G version of the China version, you'd think, right? Hmm. All they have done is swap out the MediaTek with a Snapdragon chip from the Note 11 Pro, but still can't shoot 4K. China version still has a better battery and better speakers tuned by JBL. We asked the same question of Samsung with Exynos. Now we ask the same of Xiaomi with the global versions. Do you believe we are raising a valid question as far as the China version versus the global versions are concerned? Make sure to leave your comment in the comment section down below. Till the next one, we done. Take it, now you go.